da 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 Oh, wait, let me put my hashtag ad. Just starting my stream now. An Instagram story? Hello, everyone. <clears throat> I actually, um... We got some stuff to talk about. Alright, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about MTG a little bit about the events and stuff. Uh... Because they are really fucking fun. They are really fun. Talking all about MTG. Which got the slash kilo. Hashtag empty mom. Um, hashtag add. I got to do my Instagram post. Hashtag add. And then what's the last? At. Wizards. Magic. You. All things fire. And then how do I add like, I'm gonna add like a sparkle effect. I'm gonna add sparkles. I wanna add sparkles to my, this glitter. Here we go. Okay. And post to my story. Hello. <clears throat> We're talking magic. Yes, yes. This is the hashtag ad part of the stream because if you were not aware, recently I was up in London this weekend. I was up in London for the weekend. For magic stuff. Mm hmm. We're at the pre release. We're at a pre release for March of the Machines, which is going to be releasing tomorrow, actually. Which is pretty neat. The set is uh, releasing tomorrow, which, by the way, if you're interested, you can go check it out. There is a there's a handy dandy link right there. It's I'm just saying really freaking good. Also, I made a tweet. I made a tweet. So if there is anyone who has been getting uh ba 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 Magic 
related things. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where, where is my tweet? So, anyone that has gotten polls and stuff, where's my sponsored tweet? There it is. Anyone else head to an MCG pre release? Be sure to show me the pictures or with your card pulls, the hashtag MTG machine. So, if you have been opening cards, you get to win like a bunch of cool artwork. Like, full on art prints. I want to download them. Like physical art prints, I do believe. Oh, wouldn't that be f- <laughs> So see. Thank you, Nimbus. Right, let me... Here we go. Here we go. I can show the pictures. Where's my display capture? So we can get you some art prints. Which are pretty fucking spicy. Freaking spicy. Sorry, language. My girl. My girl. So, if you haven't sent out a picture of your card pulls or anything, you should totally do that with the hashtag. You gotta do it with the hashtag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. So, um, one thing when it comes to magic that I talk about a lot is how easy it is for people to get into and you know obviously you can play things like arena but physical cards there is something so charming about physical cards and I think um I mean it's kind of <laughs> Best way to sort of really get your nose into magic is by going to these pre-release events um, or just heading down to a game store. They're so accessible for people, especially new players. Um, yeah, does I know Ori. Ori started doing it. We've got... Uh, we got a great little game store around the corner from us. I know that Spiff. Spiff goes and plays Magic at his local game stores. There goes to your game stores. Thank you, Nimbus. Oh. Yeah, you can go and support your local game store. Head on down and play some Magic The Gathering. Serious, it it's um people sometimes say like, hey, how do you you know how do you go out? How do you socialize? How do you do these things? And it's like, do nerd shit with other nerds. Do nerd shit with other nerds. I cannot stress the importance of nerd stuff with other nerds. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Like uh Yeah. Am I wrong? You don't have a... I don't believe that for a second, Krusty. I don't believe that for a second. I know where you live. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> that, so <laughs> that sounded so menacing. That sounded so menacing. Local might be a relative to... Yeah. <clears throat> um... <laughs> That's all... <laughs> you weren't aware? 
You got no idea. <laughs> I am kidding. I am kidding, but I am pretty sure. At least in. Ah. Uh, I know there is. I've been there. <laughs> Ugh. I just took a sip of my tea and I felt a chunk in it. Ew. <laughs> Ew. What the heck was... Ew. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> but, um... What is it? I... Let's go through some of the... Much of the machines list cards. Let's go, Scryfall. <laughs> Vanessa! So, um... I went to Bad Moon Cafe in London. For the... MTG. Well, the March of the Machines pre-release. It was really, really cool. It's a really nice cafe, actually. Uh, I didn't try any of the food. But they had, uh, they had the, uh, blood orange gin. You need that Elspeth? You know, I th actually pulled Elspeth. I did pull Elspeth. I'm quite happy about. Yeah, return all non-land permanent cards with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield is foul. Um, uh, what did we get? Because I actually played a white deck. I ended up playing a white deck for... I, yeah, I played a white, green... Wait. No, I played a white, black, and green deck, which was based off of... Incubate tokens. This character right here is fabulous. I loved her. When she enters the battlefield, incubate three X times. So incubate when something when you incubate, it's basically a like a Phyrexian token. It's a little egg, and you put you know, most of the time I could only do two. But it'll have three one one counters on it, right? And then for two mana, or you can tap this creature, will transform your egg into a Phyrexian like might. And it's really is it got pretty gross. It got really, really gross at one point, but um I actually really liked playing with the uh, the incubate stuff. I used no. I, I used non non's inquisitor as well. Um, because uh, at the pre-release, it's like a draft event, right? So I kept having to make my own decks, and I'm like, oh no! And it's all based on your pulls. So, uh oh, this isn't fun. I loved change the equation. I managed to screw over a someone was it Vorin Clex? So I was up against a like a I think it was a green blue deck with a Vorin Clex in it. And so they got the mana, they pull out Vorin Clex, I'm like, fuck my life. This isn't fun. No, I don't wanna deal with it. Boom. Enchanted creature has base power and toughness zero two, has defender and loses all other abilities. Yes. So well this was actually the second uh Hey baby. Is that the pre-release event itself? I lost I lost every single one of my games, which is fine, but both Marek and I won the raffle for some old cards. Like, they do raffles at the pre-release events, and then you get to win, like, collector boosts and stuff. It was really cool. Um, I won the raffle, so did Marek, but because Marek also won the raffle, I was like, no, roll again. Roll again. 
let someone else win. Yeah, I was, I was that bitch. I was trying to be classy. Also, none of the cards would have worked in my deck, which is... You know, rare cards are cool and everything, but will it work in my deck? No, I don't, I don't care much for it. Hey, baby. Hi. Can you... Okay. You gonna lay down now? You're disgustingly kind and it makes me sick. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Okay, the cat is gonna be rubbing her face on the microphone, so that's what that noise is. Um, what else did we get? Because I played... I think I played... Green... I played green, white. Yeah, Edge Familiar was cool. Okay, Peppa. I played a uh, green white at the pre release event. No, it was green red. I pulled one of these. Actually, I pulled two of these. This is fucking disgusting. And it's it's not a mythic. Like the uh, crusty, you would when Atali enters the battlefield, each player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. You may cast any number of spells from among the non-land -exi non exile cards this way without paying their mana costs. Transform for nine. Trample, indestructible. Whenever Atali primal deals sickness, a primal sickness deals combat damage to a player, they get that many poison counters. Rare, by the way. Not a mythic. Oh, blue red control because you got such bad pulls. Oh no. Yeah, I. I mean, I did get one great pull. Um, when I was playing with, where's my Voring Clex? Where's Voring Clex? This, this cool, this, this guy was cool. These two were fantastic. For me, in my, one of my draft games. Is Vorinclex gonna be in here? Hello? Oh. So. In my pre-release, like in the pre-release, Pre-release draft, because that was the one at the uh, Bad Moon Cafe, I did pull a Voring Clex. Yeah, Trample, Reach, Enter the Battlefield, search your library for up to two forest cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle. Um, yeah. And then when you should transform, mill ten cards, put up to two creature cards from among the milled cards onto the battlefield. Distribute seven plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures you control. Till end of turn, creatures you control gain one. This creature fights target creature you control you don't control. Exile then return to the battlefield face up. So that was fun. We got I did pull an Elish Norn. At my second one. So we have three from the Phyrexia and one from this set. I want to get the new Shelder just because I like her. I think she's cool. Peppa. Enter the battlefield. Each opponent sacrifices an on-token creature or planeswalk. That's gross. Exile, then return transformed. For each opponent, destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker that player controls. Each opponent discards three cards, then mills three cards. Put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, whatever. I think we got a couple of eyes. We got... Did we get this boy? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Erebus deals one damage to target opponent. Add... Check the transform. Break work deals three damage to target opponent. Each creature they control, create three treasure tokens. Until end of turn, you may cast instant and sorcery spells from any graveyard. If a spell cast this way, we'll be put into a graveyard. Exile it instead. I don't think we got a Glissa. Dina! Dina was a card I really liked. Wait, where is... Where is she? Because <coughs> during the um, pre-release event, I had to go green-black, I think? Or was it green-red? I might have been green-red. I can't remember what I played now. Oh, Strixhaven. Yeah, yeah. I was I was trying to build a, a, a basically a, a deck around the life gain from her. That was my goal. I didn't get to play any of the battles. I don't really understand the battles. Pepper, do not knock that off the desk. Thank you. Hi, baby. Hi. Hey, baby. But, um, yeah, I, I think, uh, I, I had a really great time. I know this is technically like a hashtag ad section, but Pepper, please stop. But, um, I mean, Marek can vouch. He's a massive nerd. He does pre-release events a fair bit because he's a nerd. Smile. It's a really, it's a really, really nice, like, it's really nice. It's, it's nice and social and you're sort of forced to play magic with complete strangers. Pepper. Pepper. You're knocking things off my microphone. Yes. No, don't rub your face on my, my, uh, the guard. Okay. You good? You good, baby? It's a microphone. Who's that? Okay. Ah, you bastard. Good place for it. Yeah, it was really it was really fun. Um if you can, and I know that some there are like stall locators, I I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see. I, I could have sworn MTG pre-release store locators. Events! Here you go! Here you go! Look at that! Look at that! So you can find... There's so many! There's so many things! Let me do my C. 
Wait, what? <gasps> oh, wait. Do you know what the next magic set is? Okay, right, guys. Um, so, very, very important. Are you guys familiar with the One Ring? Ow! 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 Pepper! Ow! You know when cats do that kneading thing? It was right on my tattoo. So... Um, there's a... One ring card, because the next, I believe the next magic set is going to be all Lord of the Rings stuff. It's all very Lord of the Rings themed. There is going to be a one of one card. Like, there's just going to be one. Pepper, don't. That you can only get from collector boosters. Yeah, you'll hear the purring. I've got a cat on my lap. Keeps biting me. I... I don't really understand. Like... What is... What, what, what does it do though, Merrick? I don't get it. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you gain protection from everything. So you just, I, I, I mean, tap to protect yourself? Wait. Enters the battlefield, you gain protection. But that's until your next turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose... Have to draw a card, then you lose life. But just because you have it out, you're untouchable? Why won't it send me the full-size image? I don't... it doesn't... You're untouchable for one card. Sorry, for one turn. It doesn't sound all that good then. It just looks cool. It's just tap to draw cards. Okay, it's just card draw. It's just, yeah, okay. Hi, baby, what are you playing with? What are you playing with? Makeup wipe? He likes sitting on my lap now. But yeah, I'm 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 excited about the Lord of the Rings stuff. I'm I am a fan of Magic the Gathering. I will be attending all the pre-releases for that for sure. Samwise food decks. Listen, Samwise, it wouldn't be a food deck. 
Make him a gardening deck. Make a goddamn food deck. Not a food deck. Gardening deck. I mean, who... Hmm. What would I want to play? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a very... I'm blue-black. Blue-black. Blue-black through and through. But, um, yeah, I think... Yeah. Uh... Pepper, stop! Golem scheming deck? Okay, rude. Temptation deck sounds like so much fun. You throw you you've got a um you got a Boromir, you got Denethor, you got Gladriel. <laughs> Galadriel Planeswalker, yes, please. Pepper. So I, I know March of the Machines and keep you can actually pre-order March of the Machines. I mean it releases tomorrow. Um I do Hey Jazz! Hi Lenora! I do, I, I'm not, I know much of the machines is out and I'm having a lot of fun with this, this one, but you know when you see cards for like upcoming releases, it's like, stop spoiling us wizards, please. <laughs> you spoil us too much. I'm actually, I, I was slapping a box on my bed and it's a March of the Machines bundle. <laughs> Go look at the box, Pepper. You love boxes. No, yeah, I, I, I'm very excited about the um, Lord of the Rings stuff. I mean, much of the machines. I, I had a lot of fun with those. I end up buying a couple of collector boosters as well. <laughs> I keep buying cards. It's, it's, it is an expensive hobby. I will say that. It, well, it can be expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive, but it can be. Um, jump starts are really fun, and it's a great way to test new things out, especially like uh, color combos that you might not be used to playing, different mechanic combos. Uh, jump starts are a great way to get into it. I think Commander is my favorite. Well, Commander is like my favorite way to play. Um, it's up to four people, a lot of gaming cafes and stuff. They do have commander nights. And it's, I, I found it like, I was arguing with Josh Strife Hayes actually on Twitter. I was arguing with him on Twitter about what's the best way to get people into magic. And I was like, honestly, I'd say commander. Sure, it's four player, it's four different decks, but... It also gives the new player the opportunity to see what other people are doing and how they play and how you can create a deck your own way. Assuming you're not doing Legacy Vintage. Yeah, uh, you know, having to buy like four copies of a single card. It, it, it adds up. It adds up. And I play... I mean, I'm quite lucky with... Um, the rogues I play, because they're pretty, pretty, pretty basic. You know, I got my basic little rogues. They're unblockable, or they fly. I'm just like, okay. No, it's just the, they're just the uncommons that everyone throws out, so they're nice and cheap. 
Your first experience was a draft night. You had no idea what was happening. I actually met someone at the event um, who was... It was their first time ever playing Magic. They won a game. It was their first time ever playing Magic. They had no idea what they were doing. They built a deck and they actually won a game. You tried getting into Magic and got... You can remember a single thing. Practice, you know... When it was our... It was, you know, I was up against strangers. We're doing our drafts, right? I was up against strangers and they were so quick and on the ball. I panicked. I forgot to draw a card for my turn. I was so embarrassed. He then hit me for 14. And I'm just sat there like, are you kidding me? Arena's tutorial was great. Um, it makes you play through all the different like monocolored decks, like the start ones. And um, it was great until I was playing red because I do not know how to play red. I have no clue how to play red. It's very upsetting. So, yes, if you have the time, if you can, I linked a stall locator. It will show you what magic events are on in your area, if there is anything in your area. Unfortunately, it's not for everyone. Play spells, turn creatures sideways. Okay, Marek. Okay. This is coming from Mr. I do this, then that does this, and now I have 50 dragons on the board. Marek is literally the worst person to play Magic with. I was playing with... Uh, I, I got to meet Krusty. Um, he makes a lot of VR content, loads of Skyrim content. Uh, I met him through Juve and Mickey D. And we got to meet, and it's like, yes! Bring your commander deck, we're gonna play! We're gonna we're gonna play magic. Marek pulls out uh Gishath? I get Gishath and Girad mixed up. Or was it the Erd Dragon? It wasn't the dragon, it was the dinosaur. Was it that dinosaur fucker? Yes. Yes it was. Let me let me show you guys. Um, oh yeah, Krusty, I was, <laughs> I was, I was telling them, like, you know, it was my first time meeting you, in person. Half someone's deck, half of two people's decks. So, Gishath is one of Marek's commanders. It was his first, it was, it was his first time playing, um, his deck. He was there with, if Krusty was there with his partner. First time playing their decks. And it's three blue-black zombie graveyard mill, you know. I'm the blue black miller. They're, they've got like loads of zombie graveyard shenanigans. And we're up against this. Whenever Gishath's son's avatar deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield. With trample. Or we've got these flimsy rogues and, and shambling skeletons. I think there was a spirit there. Even if we block two, the rest is still coming through. It was not okay. I see his other commander. A 
As long as the Ur Dragon is in the command zone or on the battlefield, other dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever one or more dragons you control attack, draw that many cards. <laughs> then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Disgusting. I do have a pretty cool dragon commander, actually. I've got one. I've got a really cool one. Pepper! I gotta go let the cat out. I gotta go let the cat out, because apparently she doesn't want to be with me anymore. Pepper, you fucking suck. You're not coming back in. I know you know how to open doors. You're not coming back. Yeah. Why isn't there like a decent high res picture of my I did I I got really lucky when we did a draft um with the gang I pulled this Shadrach Silver Quill. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may choose two. Each mode must target a different player. Target player creates a 2 1 white and black inkling token with flying. Target player draws a card and loses one life. Target player puts a 1 1 counter on each creature they control. Which is pretty great. I can defend Gishath? No, you can't. Gishath is disgusting. Against three blue-black players. It was spirit zombies and rogues. But, um, Shadrix is really cool. I had a lot of fun with Shadrix when I actually played him, because it, it was our first draft, and I was like, okay, I'll do white-black. And one of the card, one of the first cards I pulled... And I, I really think it's neat. I've only played it once. It got banned! It got banned! So, I had... <laughs> that was such a great time. So, I kept buffing myself. I kept giving myself 1-1 one, one to- I kept giving myself 1-1 one, one tokens on my creatures and distributing the flying inklings to everyone. I was like, yeah, an inkling for you! An inkling for you! And then... I hit everyone with a, with a... seven. I used seven mana to cast Meat Hook Massacre. <laughs> We're against three people. And um, with the... <laughs> Magic is so much different. I mean, it's good stuff. That's Tegrid. God of Fright. Wait. What? What? Okay. We we've been talking okay. And Oh, again, if you guys have any photos of the cards you pulled with the MTG 
um, with the March of the Machines cards. We have like a giveaway thing. What? Look, 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 look. If you respond to that with a picture of your card pulls, you get, and with the hashtag MTG Machine, you will. What is MTG? Magic the Gathering. We play card games. I need to show you guys. I, I wanna. <laughs> I'm playing this one. Hydraulic... I'm playing this again. <laughs> this is me with red eyebrows. My eyebrows are so long there. And welcome to the Battle of the Mechs, a monumental robot battle to celebrate Magic the Gathering's upcoming set release. The she was Bunch amazing. War, which launches on November 18th. In this iconic story, two armies and their gigantic yeah. mechanized war machines face off in an epic I was on the telly, actually. Two competing teams will select their finest mechanized champions before they head to the Battle of the Mechs. This is for where one No, no, this is this choice. is just a uh see our robots put through their paces in This was just for YouTube for before they meet in combat. Uh Brothers War, which was a That's all coming card up, set from begin, why don't we take a look and see how last year, was it? still chimeras were built. We noticed Urza has like an orange glow on it, so maybe we'll see my tattoo. Oh. We would like to throw Mishra up and <laughs> let gravity do all the work for us. <laughs> Inside it. <laughs> we would like to throw Mishra. The best part about this is RT. Being on a tab. <laughs> also, the fact that no one has cut this out and made a PNG of it. What the hell, guys? Up and let gravity do all the work. For My outfit was kind of fire that day. Hold on. Up and let gravity do. My outfit was pretty cool. Oh my god, look how bare my legs are! No way! No way! Yeah! Look how bare my legs are! All the work for us. Ah, I love- I love Ash and Spiff so much! They're losing against my mega I love her. Axe. Perfect. Let's go! That- those axes were made out of, like, reinforced steel. Now, let's bring on our first team, Team Urza. <laughs> Team Urza, hello. How are we all feeling today? Yeah, good. really good. Are you excited this for today's battle? Oh. I'm incredibly excited to take down the Phyrexian traitors. So how good uh. is Urza? Well, I think when you see, it's going to have definitely some traits. We've got the nice sort of illuminated <laughs> grill on the front. I look it's evil! Gonna it's going to be a winning machine. Do you have a message for the other team? I mean, there's no contest. They're not going to win. They're My legs are so bad. bare. We as well give up now. Throw in the towel. We've already won this. Them's are <laughs> fighting words. And now <laughs> it's time to meet our next team, Team Mishra. Uh, we get to walk in with... Uh, Welcome Mango's wearing one of my... Today? Really good, yeah. Good. Okay. That's my hair tie. That's what I want to hear. That's the energy I want. I brought How hair ties. Influenced your robot? Well, it's evil. It's brutal, 
and green because we want to trick everyone. It's a big robot. We had to it's make uh, it powerful. magic related. Definitely destructive. We're here to win. I'm intimidated already. And so Mango, how do you rate your robot's chances in the arena? Pretty high. I think we're really going to win. I'm really excited to see what happens. That's all that really needs to be said. Without further ado, let the trials commence. <laughs> <laughs> Our robot combatant's first test is agility. Each it was robot must navigate keep in mind. We rocks, we play the cards caves of Koilos. The team like, the fastest time. I think a lot of people are quite upset with the uh prospect that what like what is this? We want to learn about the new card sets. Why have you got these people doing this shit? They don't even play cards and... <laughs> it's like, no! I'm wins. That's actually Keyword. what we do! Five second penalty for every rock we go hit. on holiday over New Year's and just play Welcome magic! The first challenge and, ooh, and we're off to a rocky start. This is the first time our influencers have grabbed the reins on their robots and they ran right into a wall of stone. Remember, our teams are supposed to be avoiding the rocks, as each hit is a five second They It was so is this sensitive. A for team Urza? Maybe not. Couldn't resist hitting the rocks one more time. A gallant first effort from RT Game Man. Okay, let's see how that's Gavin the here winding their way through the cages of coil speaking. So a very different approach here. Looks like they're following Will from Team Urza's slow and steady play, a control mage at heart. Mango behind the remote there, guided by a very color coordinated team Nishra. It was oh. a nice control strategy, but ugh, Nishra's gone straight into the rocks. And <laughs> our team has quickly descended into <laughs> snowplow mode. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress foreboding axe looks a little less threatening when it's spinning round searching for the exit. Mistress gone rogue, sweeping aside all the rocks in its path, making it into the finish box after 31 seconds. <laughs> yes, by a lengthy 19 seconds. A loss in the first challenge. It, as it takes the win. Seeing oh. Mango smile brings me so much happiness. I don't know what it is. The robots must use their unique strengths to haul power stones from one She makes me so happy. The, the robot that moves the most stones in the allotted time. It's my turn. Challenge. My turn. Team Urza up first, and with a burst of flame, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was so sensitive. I was like, what do we do? What do we do? I, I was freaking out. I was. We've got <laughs> on the controls this time. Urza's moving line, <laughs> but it won't make that power stone delivery area any bigger. Oh, we're spinning all over the place now. Sending the power stone in the direction. Five seconds left, and Urza's darting across the arena to gather the last of the power stones. Three, two, one. Time's up. It was. It wasn't good. Over to Team Mishra, and yet again, that's a very different approach to Urza. Quite a delicate nudge for a huge mech equipped with an but. axe. But gently doesn't won't contain these power stones, and they're all over the place. Biffing Brit is taking on this challenge. <laughs> He's, He's concentrating so much. Giving Mishra those little bursts of speed <laughs> for the power stones. That's it. The old axe batting technique. Like a gnarly game of croquet. <laughs> Mango approves. <laughs> One last shunt across the line, and time's up. Will Mishra even the score? Looks like Team Urza picked yeah, up the man let's go. 33 power stones compared to Mishra's 21. So. The so. Our robot, as you saw, has a flipper. And we had to, like, we couldn't use that at all. Like, it was completely deactivated. And normally these arenas have a roof on top. It didn't have a roof on top. The opposed uh, team Mishra, their bot was powered by a lithium battery. It was um, made out of like reinforced steel. Final trial is the weapons test. Each robot must use their and... tools of destruction to smash Phyrexian eggs. Whoever creates the most carnage in the allotted time wins. 
Hmm, Phyrexian eggs? Well, anything can happen in the arena. Time to put these weapons to the test. Can that axe swing a win for Team Mishra? It's going down for the chop, misses. <laughs> but those front weapons have done the job. Oof, that looks like a gentle flick, but it's caused carnage. Engineer Jason on the controls, focused on destruction. They're massive. Going again. Oh, and the axe misses. Those eggs have scrambled, rolling away from the mech's onslaught. They bring down the axe, but the power in those small metal kickers is mighty. Going for the next cluster of eggs. Yeah. Oh, that is a beautifully executed axe swing. Clean cut down the middle. Big targets down. It's the little eggs that have got to work on now. Our mech is off to play fetch, speeding after those loose eggs. We're in trouble here. <laughs> the axe has lodged itself into our arena. I it also like made out of reinforced steel. For Team Mishra. You've heard of mana screw, but sometimes you just get axe screwed. Okay, let's see how Team Urza get on. Okay. Right. So we weren't allowed to control it, but Will, um, it was Will and Ian who are the, like, the, they've, they're the engineers that, um, and they do extreme robots. The slam, it's even louder, like, there. It is terrifying. The noise is insane. It's not concrete, it's, uh, like, re oh. So, this is ours. If you haven't seen this before, this is fucking cool. We, like, uh, uh okay. Weapons not as obvious on this bot, but let's see if it can fry a few Phyrexian eggs. Oh, <laughs> yes, it can! We wondered where the engineers had concealed the weapons. Effortless. Will it make legwork of the next nest? <laughs> yes! A full-on body slam there from Urza, using a flipper to get back up. An excellent job. Oh, they've cracked this. On to more eggs, and this is a walk in the park, with that hydraulic blast just launching their slammer into the targets. Engineer Ian in control here, being egged on by his team. That one slipped their grasp, but Ian sets his sights on one more egg. In with the spinning slam, and that's the last one. Okay. 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 Uh. This was an accident. This right here was an accident. You can see what's going to happen. Keep in mind, there is no roof. Normally, there is a roof. But they're giving us a final. <laughs> 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 no idea but it went like 50 feet up into the air and it landed outside the arena like splattered all over the floor but we couldn't see i'll show by sending the eggshells straight out of the arena it landed it this. landed Let's see this so close to um compared to Urza's loads of the lighting equipment it was Urza. very scary so, the battle. Coming up to the battle, right? The, uh, um, Shay, who was doing, like, all the commentating, um, uh, the host for the show, she, she fluffed up her lines a couple of times. Like, she, she was on the ball, but, you know, she fluffed up her, t uh, her lines a few times. Which is fine, you know, it's normal, she's only human. And, uh, unfortunately for us, though... It was right before the battle, which was the last thing that we recorded. Um, so it was just before the battle, right? And we're there, like, we can, we can smell something. We can smell something's not right. And Will's just like, we need to start now. We're like, our, our robot is leaking. Like, there was a gas leak. And we're like, oh, fuck. Okay. Like, the hydraulics for the, um... The flipper. There was a leak. And we needed to get that. And we're like, we need to go now. We need to go now. But she kept messing up her line. We're like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They used an old robot for this and then completely revamped it, recolored it, added all the lights and stuff, put the spikes on it. Yeah, we're Urza, we're Team Urza. And Mishra, so the two people, the guys in purple, the Team um, Mishra, 
they actually run. I think they're the guys that run Extreme Robots, which are the te- like the team the company that um, Wizards worked with to produce this. And so the two dudes have like a rivalry with Team Urza. So Team Mishra have a rivalry with Team Urza. And they built that bot that they're using because they knew that we were bringing the flipper. And that's why it had those like things, uh, the little kickers on the front. And you'll see in this version, they've added an extra two to the front. So there's no way for us to get underneath easily. So we were, we were leaking gas. Yeah. The moment has finally come to see which of these two fearsome mechs See, it's got the one there. And it's oh. And, uh, so you know they got stuck? And now, the you know they got stuck in the, uh, which floor? These two fearsome mechs. Because they got stuck in the floor. Because the, the kickback from the axe was so severe. They literally sawed the point off. They cut. They cut it off. We'll be victorious in this final test of strength, courage, and ferocity. Let the arena battle begin. This is it. It's time for head-to-head -head demolition, and they're off. Urza attempting to get under Mishra there for a flip, but as we know, that mech sits close to the arena floor. Our engineers John and Jason behind the remotes for this final battle. <laughs> Mango is just like Urza just sliding up onto Mishra there and putting itself right on the executioner's block. That axe comes down hard on Urza. Mishra just scooping Urza into the corner there, but that mech's pretty nimble for a wedge and it escapes and pulls a reverse on Mishra. Mishra in the corner and feeling the. Did you see that? When the height the pump goes up. For a wedge and it escapes. It pulls a reverse on Mishra. Mishra in the corner. Yeah. You see that? But that mech's pretty you see it. For a wedge and it escapes. It pulls a reverse on Mishra. Mishra in the corner and feels yeah. the full force of Urza's flipper. Is it all over for Mishra? That mech's upside down and beached. But like a cat and mice, Urza now you can see. Now, because, um, you know how, like, yeah, the, the gas leak was an act, like, it started leaking and it had, like, five minutes of life left in it for the hydraulics on the the flipper. And you'll see the next flip, uh, the lid doesn't close as quickly. That mech's upside down and beached. But like a cat taunting mice, Urza writes its opponent to continue the fight. An unusual act of kindness for Urza. <laughs> That's anger, Team Mishra. <laughs> Jason launching a full attack and bringing that axe down rapidly like a lumberjack with a deadline. Ooh, Nimble Urza gets away and is dancing around the mighty Mishra here. They go for the uh, that's clip, it. Left themselves that's it, like, we were out of gas. Because, um, you saw how quickly it closed on itself. Wide open and Mishra seizes the moment. Driving that axe straight into Urza's inside. <sighs> Team Urza's watching on in horror. Oh, <laughs> and Urza gets a taste of his own medicine, feeling the flip from our. And this point, this right here, we had our uh, engineers like banging on the glass, like we're out, we're out, we're out. Arena floor, delivering the axe right at feet. <laughs> This should be easy work for that axe now. Mishra not even entertaining their weak opponent and going straight for the celebratory spin. Bet Team Urza regrets their mercy early on now. After Urza's string of wins, Team Mishra pull it out of the bag for the last challenge. With a triumphant victory, it's a new ending for this brother's war. Team Mishra, huge Oh my god, my lack of tattoos is so sad. To good use. How does it feel to vanquish Team Urza? 
It feels amazing. We really did equip the axe and really used it to our advantage. So I'm super happy. Obviously, commiserations. I was livid. I'm exhilarated. That's me in there. That for you, <laughs> Team Urzo. Commiserations. You put up a really good fight. You know, you did all three trials so so well, but lost the final battle. What would you do again if you could fight once more? We'd probably leave them turtled on the ground this time. We're not going to give them one more turn. They're tapped out, done for next time. Do you think you'll do a rematch <laughs> in Magic the Gathering itself just to, you know, get some bit of justice? Oh, yeah. Straight tonight. See you on the street. <laughs> Brothers War time. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed this thrilling we taste of the Brothers War. Team Mishra have won this battle, and now it's we your had to. to build your force of powerful mechs and face your opponents in epic confrontations. The Magic the Gathering's new set, The Brothers War, arrives on November 18th. Find it in your local game store. And we had to like stare at the camera and follow it up. And I was like, am I looking? Am I looking? Am I looking? So yeah. It was really cool. It was a really cool, really cool event. Wizards, I demand a rematch. I know, right? I know, right? So again, um, huge shout out to Wizards of the Coast for the amazing opportunity being able to go to a pre-release at Bad Moon Cafe on the 15th. Um, you can buy the new cards tomorrow. Much of the Machines releases tomorrow. <laughs> If you do go out and get yourself a deck and you respond to my tweet with a hashtag MTG machine, you get a chance to, you will be entered to win some art prints. Like promotional art prints from the new games. Well, the new decks. So, big up wizards. Thank you very much. Okay, right. We did much longer, but that's what that's what happens when we talk about magic, right? <laughs>